Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at gathering input from the user and also doing some data type conversion. First, let's define our main function. I'm going to put pass here just so the compiler's happy. And then we're going to define we're going to call our main function slightly different. This is useful when we start doing imports, but that's a more complex topic that we'll cover later. Don't worry about that for now. So the first thing we want to do is gather some data from the user. The way we do that is first define a variable here that's going to store that information that we collect from the user. Then we use this input function call built, a built-in function in Python. And then inside of the input function, we will ask a question to the user. This is what will be displayed to them. We're gonna ask them how many tickets were sold, adult tickets. Uh, we're gonna be building a, a zoo admission app and then we want to do the same for child tickets here. Make sure we rename the variable. Be very cognizant when you start doing copy and paste. So this will be pretty simple. We can run this real quick. And how many adult tickets were sold? We'll say one. How many were child tickets were sold? Two. Perfect. We see here that it collected user input. We haven't done anything with it yet, so that'll be our next step. We're going to just convert one of the variables. Let's convert the adult tickets sold variable, and then let's convert it to an integer. So now this variable is converted to an integer. Last, let's display this information on the screen. So we'll do some string concatenation to display this data on the screen. There's a variety of different ways we can display it. We're just going to do a simple string concatenation where we keep adding a longer and longer string. You'll see here, I needed to convert this back to a string because it's currently an integer. So it needs to turn back into a string to start building a longer string, string concatenation. The print statement wants strings inside of it. And then let's display the variable type just as a contrast. We'll see the different variable types using this type function. We'll see adult tickets variable type is different than the default child import input. Both of these are going to have different variable types because we only converted this one to a string, excuse me, to an integer. This one should remain a string. Child tickets sold here. Now this one doesn't need to be converted to a string because it already is one. We need to do this string conversion here because type returns something that's not a string. So we just want to display that. This should be enough to run. Perfect. So let's look at the output here a little bit closer. We have the data that's collected by the inputs here. So these inputs take these values and store them in these variables. We have a type conversion here where we convert the data type. The default data type of input into adult tickets is a string. Now we convert this variable to an integer. We're going to need to do that in the future for future parts of this program we're building because we want to do math and we can't do math with a string data type. We need to convert it. And then we can use this information. We, we're just displaying this information on these next two lines here, where we have this string 
or the adult tickets, we convert this back to a string because we're doing string concatenation. And then we just display the data type so we know what the data type of that variable is. We can see that adult tickets is an integer as we changed it here. And the child tickets is still a string because we did not modify that. So this is just a high level overview of collecting data from the user and then doing data type conversions as needed. Uh, that's all we're going to cover in this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.